hi guys so welcome back to my channel so today I come to you with a tutorial of how I make my um, sponges for my bun you know those round sponges that you can put in your bun to you know give it that structure I've actually never bought one before because I've always just made my own this is something that I saw on YouTube years ago and I only made one and I used that for years and then I didn't use it again so I just threw it away but now I need to do this style that you guys have asked for and I need this bonus so I just thought because I'm gonna make it I'm gonna show you how I make it so before we get into it make sure you're subscribed make sure you also put your notification button on so you will get a notification every time I post a new video so let's start so what you're going to need is a whole bunch of tights now these are old tights that have either ripped have got holes in them um or just got lots of fluff and i know for sure that i won't be using them again so you need your tights and then you need your scissors which is what you're going to use to cut them up and that's that that's all you need so to start i'm gonna start with some of the thicker tights so you cut up you cut from the top like so and then once you cut one leg you then come down at the foot and then cut there as well Ooh. so then you now have two holes at each end so this is one leg of one tight so i'm gonna do that to each one of them So it's all done, I've cut them all up and now I'm going to start the folding process. So you take one like that and then you just fold it like so. So you fold it until you get to the end. So as I'm folding it's getting smaller. So. we've got our donut so this is the first one and I'm going to add another one to make it bigger so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add it to the bottom like so and then fold over it so put it through the hole from the bottom open it up onto this one I hope this makes sense fold it over and then keep folding so you just keep folding like that the second and then if you want it tight you can keep pulling just to make sure that it's smooth <laughs> it and then keep pulling just to make sure they smooth and then fold it in again so it's all about folding I'm going to do another one and then just speed up the process okay so this is the end so what I'm gonna do is the third one I'm gonna put it through there so that's the end of the other one the third one i'm gonna put it in through the bottom and then fold over this one fold. fold it over if you want it big 
don't do it too tight and you can just keep stretching it so from the bottom again fold this one over downwards Oop. fold it over and downwards do you know what and then keep folding like so keep on folding it and then fold so so the bigger it gets the tighter it's gonna get so if you want it to if you want to do it bigger then you need to stretch it Okay, so that's the end of the other one. So I'm going to add another one. And this one, I'm going to do it very close for you guys to see. So that's the new one. And then just fold this over the, if you can, <laughs> it's not letting me. Just fold this over like so. And then with the new one you start to fold Ooh. fold it over like that okay so once you've done that you just keep folding like that and then if it if you want it to be slightly neater just keep pulling Fold it inwards. So pull just to make sure it's not too tight because I like my bun to be quite big so it needs to be able to go around my bun. So pull that around like that and then stretch. So I'm going to keep stretching it just so it's not too tight. Um, I think I'm going to add another one and probably just call it a day. So this is it all done. Um, if it if it ends up too tight, just take one layer off. I think I'm actually going to take this layer off because it's made it a bit too tight for my liking so yeah this is what you will end up with so that is what i am going to use to style my hair so if you've watched this to the end thank you for watching he is my bun um i don't even know what it's called but i'll find the name but this thing that you use to create buttons <laughs> and I'm going to use it to create that style and I'll put it up here so that you can see what style I create with it so let me know if this is something that you're going to make also I am not trying to be tight we're on lockdown and I'm not able to to go out there to buy stuff like this so thank you for watching and if you've not subscribed yet please subscribe and also one good thing about this is that it's not going to um, draw out the moisture from your hair because of the the type of fabric so it's perfect I could tuck my hair underneath this and when I take it out it'll still have oils in it you stay moist so it's perfect for your protective style so don't sleep on this guys thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video bye